Okay, now back to the property and back to the second video. The most interesting one, I think, inside one. So this is the house in front of us, obviously. And we got an extra building there with an entrance. We got a one more entrance here and one more entrance here. So, which is interesting. And the way the house has been organized for a typical traditional Bulgarian house is so this entrance here, because you're wondering why there is a two entrances almost next to each other on ground floor. You know, because this one is put us in the ground floor, real ground floor, and lead us to the cellar, which is here below. You know, because you got from here, you got on this side, and you got on this side. You're wondering how, when there is an entrance here. You're going to find out. And this entrance is put us up to the second floor, to the, all the premises. Of course, in the property, there is an inside staircase leading from the ground to the, to the top floor. Let's go and have a look, which is very curious. So we are going to see now, what I'm saying is, this is the cellar here, you know? And the cellar is up to the ground floor as well, which is really good. But what we have between? Between we have these stairs, look at this. There's a stairs between them. So the cellar is on this side, the ground floor is on this side. And we got an axis behind the stairs from this entrance behind the stairs reach the cellar. Really good decisions, really good decisions. So if people can straight go to the second floor to the bedrooms. Before that, I want to show this. Beautiful round stones. Look at this, this is one stones up up is one big stone i think one, up is one big stone you can see look at this a one big stone look at this piece a one big stone lovely you know and then we got one stone from here up to there and one stone from here up to there look at these round stones amazing this is what is always amazed me okay Let's go and have a look at the ground floor first. <laughs> Typical with the carpets. Yes, of course, I'll put the lights on. You know, I'll put the lights on and I will close the door. Look at this, how wide. This is a really typical rich Bulgarian uh, people. So being built by the rich people, the rich people, they're not rich anymore now. They are relatives, but used to be rich people. Look at this. Proper high ceilings, very wide, about three meters wide corridors. Amazing one. And you got the premise here. You got the same rounds, but wooden one steps. And the door there, it's obviously the connection inside from the ground floor to the second floor. And we got this, which I discuss. If you remember, I told you it is a cellar. And there is a steps behind this wall where we can enter. The steps going this way. And we're going to the cellar here. Look at this. It's a really nice and warm, really nice and warm. And there is a bed here. This is because they're a big family, you know, and they put beds everywhere. They put beds everywhere. Look at this. Let me show you this. Look at this. All is original. I like this, like a seal, you know, up. And then you got these beautiful woods and the stairs. Look at them. Amazing stairs. Really nice. And every house is different. You can see the character of the people who build up the house. That's why I like the typical traditional Bulgarian houses, because they talk and show us what kind of a characters the owners and the people who build them were, you know? Look at this, very nice and white. Very nice and white. You know, looks like you're on the stage here. Going from here, then going there. And the door. It's a nice, lovely white door. Look at the difference here. Look at this. Everything is very interesting. So you got this like that and you still got the proper flat floors. Amazing. So we came from there, obviously. Let me show you the door. Of course, I'm sure people who is going to buy the house, they will change the door. They will change the door, but it's a lovely one. I like the arch type of it, you know, 
the arch type of it is really lovely and it's big white and you can open there as well so even you can drive the car drive in car here you know look at this then we got all the originals look at the doors here look at the doors look at this all is original totally original amazing one beams is being just put a lacquer on it you know look at that the colors the curves everything the handle the way you lock it you know like like this you can see it goes this way and it's gold like here Tuck. Bam. okay look at that amazing doors really good frame it's just a bit narrow as an entrance but not that much bad let's go and have a look what we have here where is the light here uh-huh the light should be here is it there or not let me try yes look at this so what we got here oh my god look at this premise look at this premise let's try to make it a bit lighter amazing look at the walls first of all i'm going to show the walls they're really good one they're really good one look at this how huge and wide is it's a big house it's a castle it's a castle like the french size castle look at this amazing so this is the stairs we saw from the entrance second entrance outside if you remember you know that's why i say to you that the ground floor access is goes behind the stairs and you can see where the stairs are look at the walls i think this is what makes me crazy to like this property i love this property let me put this a bit look at the walls and the thickness and the new windows wooden one the new windows look at the thickness of the wall look at that it's crazy it's totally crazy this you know look at this as i say to you it's a really like a castle you know i can't use my finger now but it will it will be good look at this and all the beams and the walls I'm going to the beams closer and it's a proper height so even tall people can go into it look at this you know proper tall people can go through it look at this I think you can see clearly now the wall the beams look at this I can I can't I can't speak even you know I even can't speak because it's a really nice and white space you can be a beautiful even even the living room i know it's a bit dark because you got only one window but for the summer to hide here from the hot weather to hide here from the hot weather will be brilliant look at these finishes beams the steps from up from the door behind you know the door behind this door here this door here you can see the twisted steps you can see the steps yeah you can see them they're here look at this amazing no really good i'm trying to make it a bit lighter here for you so you can see all the beams they're really in a good condition very dry very dry believe or not it was one week full with rain and it's a really very very drying beams very drying beams nice proper huge cellar which is on almost on the same level you can see it's on the same level just that like about three inches no more header higher you know the good beams good doors really good one let's have a quick look again and this beautiful space amazing huge one let's go back now the door we came into so we get another two entrances here let's see this one first obviously it's been converted to a bedroom and uh, i know 
<laughs> everybody will say, based on all the rest, why it's a laminate? Because this was the way the new generation of the relative children wants to, to make it by themselves. So this was the room being done by the children, you know? Otherwise, look at, oh my God, it's heat, crazy, crazy heat, you know? You can see, and you can have a look and see, you can hear, it's coming up. The meal, the meal is coming up. Look at the chimney, it's all original. No plasterboard. Look at the window arch. You know, the window arches. Look at them. Really good. And all has been plastered. You know, all has been plastered. I like this type of windows. Let me switch on the lights, just in case. Be much more nicer. Yeah, a proper bedroom. Just a shame from the laminate, but leave it to the children. They like it this way. Otherwise, the doors are the same beauty, you know, the same beauty. So we got one bedroom here. We got one, some kind of a entrance bedroom as well. <laughs> so what we have here, here we got kitchen. So it's been a bit done like a type of a, type of a similar, making it modernize a bit let's say about 25 years more than nice ago but it's nice a nice small table for one person it's enough for one person this table is enough okay look at the ceilings they're really good and high ceilings by the way really good and high ceilings so you can have a look and see the beams are original not any feet beams they all are original beams always very nice and dry you can have a look and see this Definitely. Tiled floor, tiled floor, tiled steps. It's a bit modernized inside. So the main house is finished here all the way, you know, and this is the third entrance for the extension there. We're going to see now extension. Just wanted to show you where the cellar was. We were been there, yeah. Kitchen, washing machines, whatever. And this is the extension. And you can see the roof slope from here. Yeah, all has been done, plastered, sorry, painted, and nice. And of course, where we're going to be without the oven. It is old oven, you can have a look and see. Old oven, which never been used for a while, because you can see how wide it is, but you can see the, you can see the, the beams, you can see the beams. And you can have a look and see that it's been concreted a bit, but still there is a hole. So a type of a fireplace can be connected here and you still can enjoy a lovely fireplace there. Look at the thickness of the wall. Again, stone one, new windows, wooden, I mean. Look at this. So extension is not bad at all. Not bad at all, that extension, you know. You can see the ceilings are in a good condition. We did so the, we did see the roof above, you know, we did see the roof above. So nothing's hidden. So this is the entrance to outside, to the living area garden, and a sitting area inside, if you remember. Yeah, okay. The same roof continue here. So you got entrance here and you got a shed before you come in. Even if it's raining, you can leave your stuff here and then you can come inside here. A really beautiful place. And we got three steps leading us to the toilet and shower. This is the toilet and shower. You can see the size is not bad. The thing is you got only the shower. You know, to have a standing shower, you know. So this might be something which people need to think about and maybe changed. Let me show how big it is. So you can see the size of it. And maybe in my opinion is if you take off the boil, because I don't think that this is the right place for the boil. You need to find another place for the boil and then you have enough space to put a shower here on this wall. You can put a shower on this wall or you can put a shower on that wall. But I think it's better on this wall because you already got the pipes. But for something to live with before we do it, 
it's not it's not bad at all okay so we can say it is a toilet and bathroom look at this beautiful beauty nice place nice place we got a light here as well you can see yeah then we go back now and we go to see the second floor so once again the shade with the toilet and the extra let's say it's called summer kitchen but it's not a really summer kitchen it's a proper space you know a bit colder here because the door is open otherwise it's warming up the, the oven so i can say it's very warm here even with the oven where we saw the meal to be cooked we're, we're cooking are cooking there sorry so reminder toilet and bathroom extension with a nice slope roof then which could be like, I don't know, everybody can, there's a lot of space in this house, so everybody can reorganize. It could be in a proper dining room here, in my opinion, because it's just next to the kitchen, you can see. Then we go back here to the big corridor and we got, don't forget, we got amazing ceiling, cellar, which is the same level, only three inches higher, lower than the, than the floor here, you know? Then we got a bedroom, which could be kept as a bedroom, you know, because for me, for me, what is the best way? Connect this room and this room and make one big living room, part of the corridor as well. So this all, all this can be connected. This room with this corridor hallway and this wall. So connected these three rooms, kitchen, bathroom making one big living room with a kitchen and diner there will be really really nice because you have a huge huge space here really a really huge space look at this a really huge space so all this one will be become a nice living room with a proper patio door open one to the garden amazing really really amazing anyway let's go and have a look what we have behind this door look at the steps really nice so we start from here start from here and go this way original steps they're a bit looks like a bit stronger one but not bad i like this finish people in bulgaria can put some stuff here this is very typical for bulgarian houses let me tell you this to be clear bulgarian people when they build doesn't matter they've been rich people or poor people they try to use as much as possible space to put stuff in you know like this one you can put stuff and you can see stuff has been put you know look at these stairs beautiful I'm going this way now wide corridor and the door which i did show you with the steps behind them we go we went to the cellar look at how high the ceilings are really good high ceilings it's a huge, it's a huge, huge, huge building. Steps to downstairs. So now here we got, let's turn left here and to see what we have. Ooh, how bright and nice bedroom. Look at this bedroom. Look at that bedroom. A really good and nice size of a bedroom. Look at the high ceilings. And of course, where are we going without the proper proper oven oh my god it's huge it's really really huge let's open it my friend let's open it amazing and look at the way the doors open this way and that way this way and that way you know like like look at this beautiful let me show you now inside yes proper one look at this amazing proper to the chimney and you can use this one beautiful look at that look at that beauty i know it's a bedroom but it's a beautiful and all this is original cupboards you see it's attached to the wall so all these cupboards are attached to the wall look at them look at this all these original they're white being done white and as i say to you everywhere space everywhere space to put the stuff in look at this look at that amazing and all these curves 
bands. Just this is the best way for cobwebs for spiders. This is the spider paradise. Look at this, all these corners, gaps. <laughs> all this is a spider's paradise. You know, let's call spider's paradise. A good size of room and look at the floor. It's a bricks. <laughs> it's a bricks. Rough and rough but nice. Look at this. Aha. The floor is wooden one, proper white, original. You can't find this anymore. They make them much more narrow and make them from the pine tree, you know? So, but what is here? Here is the tiles, you know? Aha, uh -huh. look at this. Amazing, original tiles just goes around the peak and the huge fireplace. Look at this fireplace. Believe or not, always original. I like this. And the window for serving food, you know. <laughs> Look at how high the doors are. Amazing. Really was a very huge, I mean, a very rich people, you know. Look at this and all the solid wood doors. Look at the head of it. Oh my God. Look at the head of it. You know, oh, it's amazing. Good doors. So we got another bedroom here with the steps. Everything in this house is done with interesting. Go there, then a step, you know. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Steps. Then the floor. Amazing. Then you got... Can you see how bright the house, the, the rooms are? Big window, but high. It's not white. But it's very tall, high window, you know. And then you got high door, doors. And then you got one, two, three windows here. Look at this. This bedroom is amazing. And Jamal, the heating system, the most popular heating system, which we can see, can, you can let the fire in from there from look at the connections with it yeah and this is connected of course with it yes a lovely place to put a candle in look at this candle in place you know amazing but by myself look at the windows and then amazing building cupboard this building cupboards cost fortune at the moment just to keep them their ornaments, crafty, bends and everything, curves. Look at this. Look at the door. I'm going to look at the handles. I don't know what to show you. Everything is just coming up and coming up and coming up and coming up. Look at this. My God. I was sure I'm going to see something interesting, but I never knew how much, how many things. You look at this. Look at that, amazing. You can't find this now, these days. Amazing handles, really good doors. And it's closed properly, it's properly closed. Look at this. And all this with the cupboards. They didn't even take any space from the room, but they're really good. They're really, really good. I'm really amazed at this. Look at that. Really good work. I won't go inside just because I'll keep some privacy for people. Don't look at their private stuff. You know, beautiful. So let's start to be much more exact. So we got this bedroom here and we got that bedroom here. Obviously, it's a bit inconvenient if you don't use this one as a one big bedroom, like for family, kids and uh, parents, you can use it in this way. This is one of the options. The other option is you can make this one separate from this one. And this option is here. Very, very clear. You got enough space here, see, to put a door. So you can close you can close the existing door here, 
just close it. Don't remove it because it's a nice feature. Close it and lock it. Keep it locked, you know, and make the door here. Make the door to come here. In this case, you're going to lose three of the two cupboards, which will be shame. And I think the house is big enough, but it's just an option. So someone wants, you still have two of these, which makes the, 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 the lovely, the lovely feature, keeps the lovely feature of the property. So definitely you can make access from there and close this one and make two separate bedrooms with a private access each. Or you can keep it as it is and make it one big family bedroom, let's say, master bedroom or family bedroom, because you, the house is big enough and you're going to see there is a, another space for the bedrooms. So this one to be a big master bedroom, then you got, this is where we come from, then you got one premise here and one premise here. Let's go and have a look what we have here. So here we have bedroom number, let's say two. Look at this. The same nice floors. I like because 95%, maybe even 99% of the features has been kept. You know, they has been kept and the people did it properly. Good high ceilings. Look at the ceilings. There's no any signs of any problems and troubles on white ceilings. Not many Bulgarian houses are with the white ceilings. You know, they mainly are green or dark brown or black, you know. But look at this. Now, look at that. The same doors, just the different handles. And a beautiful Jamal. Beautiful Jamal. Look at that Jamal. You can't make these days stuff like that. And it's all has been built by the proper, proper bricks. Keep the heat and give the heat days and days. I said, maybe mentioned in a few of my videos, if you keep running this one two days and then you stop to feed it with wood, it will give a heat another two, two, three days with no need to be feed. Can you imagine? Amazing one. Look at the feet. It's like a like a like a small small church you know like a temple like a temple good size of a bedroom not big but at the same time any double bed can go here or king size bed even can go here you know and you've got a proper windows and proper light on it so one bedroom there sorry a light is one bedroom there another bedroom there we discussed the options for connections. Bedroom number three, let's say, which is, we're going to show the, met, the numbers of the premises, not what can be done or how it can be kept. So we got another premise here. Let's see what we got here. Do we have a light here? Yes. Oh my God, look at how huge it is. It's a storage, pantry, whatever. And you got a window there even. Look at that. Let me check. I'm inside. Let me check and see. Oh, it's a huge one. This is the best bathroom option here, I think. It's a really huge one. It's two and a half meters and maybe on three and a half. So it's about seven square meters and a proper bathroom. I know it's a lot of stuff here, but if you remove the stuff, you will find out it's a really good. For, you'll find out it's really good for this. Yeah, it's a really good for this. Look at that. Oh my God. No any leaks on the loft at all. Nice handles, beautiful. Okay, bedroom number three. Access from the garden, access from inside. Premise for toilet and bathroom. And look at this room. Look at that amazing room. I'm going to spend a few minutes here. Look at this huge room. Look at that huge room. Let me show you how huge it is. Look at the numbers of the windows. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Look at how huge is this room. So you can tell me what this can be used for. Even if you want, 
you can convert it this one and another three different type of Jamal's Turkish heating system. This one is with a like a it's very strange material. I don't know what is this. I know most of the builders knows maybe, but not me. But I like, you know, really good. And it keeps the heat. Look at that. It keeps the heat. We saw this in one other house. If you remember, look at that. What a size of a room. What a size. And look at the beautiful view. The weather is keep still shiny. Look at the beautiful view where the village is. Super. This one can be, let's say, if this floor is for the bedrooms, this one can be the biggest bedroom with an ensuite. You know, we always can make ensuite because you got a lot of space. You got a lot of space. Look at the lovely mirror. My grandparents got a mirror like this. The mirror which is hanging on, you know, with some ornaments in it. Look at this, really nice. And what I'm saying is, the room is such a big one. Just where the door is, if you close from there, like one of the windows and follow this, and close this one, you can make a proper huge bathroom, unsweet bathroom to this, to this big room. So it could be this one, keep the other one as a two bedrooms, this one to be two, three, four bedrooms with a toilet and ensuite. With an ensuite bathroom and toilet, sorry. Look at that. And the ceilings. No, no any signs of problems at all. This doesn't match, but it's originally been done, these palm trees. <laughs> Nature to Hawaii. And the building cupboard, the corner building cupboard. Look at that. Oh my God, I tell it, I told I won't go in too deep. But look at this, see this. Oh, like a temple again. Look at this, a nice corner. Yeah, a nice corner. It's just the wall there and this is just the doors. Yeah, good. Proper one, proper, proper, proper one. And a good, nice view to the garden as well okay so this was the video of this property and as i start and say to you that i am a fake guy with a fake company doing fake job and fake work but making real results and proper results so i can say that thank you very much and keep yourself straight, open-minded, and honest. Don't be baker shovel people.